New York City by RV. It is not all about being out in gorgeous places in nature. Sometimes RVing can take you right to the center of a city. This has got to be some of the most beautiful scenery to bike through anywhere. Wow. Central Liberty, right over there. That's just stunning. Okay, next up on our travel adventures this summer, we've kind of you know, rewind a bit. We did the come up from Florida, our boats down in Florida. We did the Blue Ridge Parkway. We did Shenandoah and went through Philadelphia and now New York City. So we have never RV'd uh, in the New York City area before, but we have heard a lot about Liberty Harbor RV Park, which is actually in Jersey City on the New, Jer New Jersey side of the Hudson Bay. What yeah. is that called? Is it Hudson Bay? It's well, the, 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 River the, the, Bay. the New York Harbor. New York Harbor. It, it, it is a place that so many RVers have talked about because it's really one of the few places you can stay in an RV and not be stealth camping and stuff in the heart of the New York City metro area. And so, so many RVers have told us great things about this place. It's, it's, it's expensive, it's different, it's unusual, but it is right where you want to be if you take advantage of it. So I'd been plotting our route of like how to avoid all the cities going north um, from Philadelphia to like get up to New England and let's avoid all this stuff. And Teresa's like, well, why don't we do Liberty Harbor? We've always wanted to, to check it out. Let's do it. And I was like, change navigation let's go yeah because yeah, our intended rendezvous with friends up in uh the new england area had gotten pushed back a little bit so we had a week to fill in now and uh i think well let's do it we've got the van i mean this how much easier can you get with getting an rv into the center of new york city we've taken the bus through before that was stressful yeah, yeah but on, we did it yeah, we didn't get off the freeway though it's, yeah and that was still pretty but so so like let's do this and and afraid it's like we always heard this place is always booked out We're like let's see if we get a spot and yeah, I went and checked for a Saturday and Sunday night. About half the sites in August, yeah, were open, and uh, it was available all on. But uh, for the site we wanted, we got the one in the front corner, right next to the fence, so that we had a little bit of a blocked um, yard. It's and all asphalt. It's all a parking it lot. It is literally. It is just a big parking lot. It's not even super super level, but it's easy enough to get leveled there. Um, but it's just a parking lot. But it's a parking lot with, if you stand in the right places, you can see the Statue of Liberty right there. <laughs> I mean, you cannot be in a cooler location. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, we've been RVing a long time, and it's not very often you find RV parks that are close to so much cool stuff. I mean, there's some in Chicago, right? Yeah. There's a parking lot in Chicago you can stay in. Yeah. There's, uh, there's a, few, a few cities yeah. that have cool parking lot spots or interesting RV parks in the town, but... Yeah, so New York City is like the coolest city in the world, and there's a, this park in Jersey City, but we were impressed by Jersey City. So that's the, the basically just right opposite of New York City on the Jersey side, um, easily connects to New York City by the PATH subway and many, many ferries, actually. Yeah, and the ferries take off. There is one right there in the RV Park Marina yes. area. That one does not operate on weekends, though, so you have to like go a block down yeah. uh, and so catch the ferry there on weekends. Uh, it was actually really easy to do. Uh, we're avoiding indoor spaces, so we opted for the ferry. And plus, you get this gorgeous view crossing yeah, the bay. The, the ferry is part of the tourist <laughs> attraction. This is only $7 each way, and you can bring your bikes and all that stuff, and it's super convenient. But even without crossing the ferry, first off, on our first day there, we did the Jersey, Jersey side, and... The um, Liberty State Park is right there. It's basically on the other side of the Marina Harbor. Nice from little the RV easy park. pedestrian path to get across yeah. or bike path. And easy, this, easy, easy. Yeah, and this is just a big, beautiful state park that's actually being continually further developed. But it is right along the shore of Ellis Island, um, the Statue of Liberty, um, and there's also the big train terminal where so many of the you know everything happened all the all the immigrants spread out to america from so there's a lot of exhibit stuff there at the national park service that's where the ferries to the liberty island and ellis island depart to, from and all along it is a pedestrian slash bike trail that just goes along the hudson on the jersey side with the view <laughs> all of this new york the new york skyline 
and Liberty, Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island as your view. Yeah, um, so our first day in town, that's what we focused on. We kind of checked in exactly one minute after check-in time. We tried <laughs> to maximize every hour that we could at that $120 per night <laughs> RV parking spot. Um, there is power and electric and a dump station, yeah, so it's right. not just a parking lot. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, we spent the first day exploring the Liberty State Park. And then in the evening, we just walked right from the campground over to there are so many restaurants in downtown yeah. jersey city it is such an eclectic it's a hopping vibe. area yeah. very hopping a lot of trendy stuff some casual stuff uh loved the pride flags everywhere that's just awesome and also i guess in, in as a result of the pandemic but so many of the restaurants they've just extended they just closed half the streets and so they had outdoor patio dining made right in the streets and i hope they keep that permanently because it just gives such a good kind of chill environment for just the streets being less cars more patios and dining and stuff happening and it was just we loved jersey city we'd love to spend more time there yeah and then we went and enjoyed an amazing sunset um over on the shoreline uh -huh. um and then and you get the sunset in the new york skyline and it's i mean it's ridiculously beautiful he loved it i love cities <laughs> and i love new york city so. and the second day we went ahead and on sunday we went ahead and caught the first morning ferry of the day over uh went around a little block took the bikes on it was seven dollars each each way so $28 dollars to go there and back with the bikes and then we explored new york city it drops you off um in manhattan um in the, the right district. right right by the um the freedom tower. freedom tower the, you know, the, the old world trade center section like right there mm -hmm. in the heart of manhattan and new york has done an incredible job of being bike friendly and just pedestrian friendly and, and clean too that's really i mean yeah of all my visits to new york city over the years it was the cleanest feeling and I've and friendly there. and the the vibe in new york was great and this this the bike exploration along the waterfront we did we did i think we over the course of the two days like that we did about miles. 40 something yeah. miles of biking <laughs> but you know we just went up and down we sought out gluten-free bagels was one of our goals in new york but most other than getting our bagels and getting our food on we mostly just explored outside took in the views rode our bikes up the hudson river and the bike paths are just Perfect. They even go right through downtown, and they're dedicated bike lanes, bike highways. Yeah. It was great biking. We went to the 911 Memorial outdoors and saw the reflecting pools. Uh, there's a lot of great outdoor spaces that have started. What is that funky outdoor park thing? Oh, on the, the, on the, along the riverfront, everything is just being redeveloped into parkland and open to the public stuff. We also went up on the High Line. A little um, bit. That was a little yeah. too crowded. A little for bit my too taste. crowded up there, but that's the like basically they took old train tracks up above everything and turned mm -hmm. it into a linear park that's snaking through part of downtown. Um, and yeah. and we also were scoping out marinas because someday we're going to be up in New York by boat. So we it's on the Great Loop. The, yes. and it's one of the areas <laughs> we want to spend more time in. Uh, so one hundred twenty dollars a night by RV. It would have cost us. I more. think it was like three hundred dollars a night to keep our boat in that same marina because it's an RV park and uh, marina. But we're looking at the monthly rates of like it'd be cost us like fifty two hundred dollars a month to keep the boat there. <laughs> it's getting a little pricey there. Yeah. Uh, but we're looking at the annual rates, hmm, those aren't so bad. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll figure we'll out see. some way to spend because we'll there's so much in New York City, like particularly once. You can go indoors again and Broadway's reopened and all that stuff. You could spend forever in New York City and not even scratch the surface. So yeah, maybe there'll be an extended I, stay in our future. I think we'd enjoy that. Yes, right we bit. would. We, love are, we, we love being out in the boonies and we love nature and we love seclusion. We also love the hustle and bustle and, and being the vibe of the city. downtown. I mean, that's so much what we love about being in Sanford aboard our boat and why it's been the perfect yeah. place for us to be for the pandemic is there's so much to do right in walking distance right yeah. off the boat. So we can find those magic spots where we can be. Are, I mean, are you, you know, actually comparing Sanford to New York City? No. No, <laughs> no but I'm just but saying. But yeah, the same vibe. Yeah, yeah. A, a, a vibe of stuff happening in walking distance. They're completely different. <laughs> yes. But like one is like the universe and one is nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, okay. Yeah. Yes. New York City is nice. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but, you know, but he lived in San Francisco before I love cities, he hit yeah. the road. So I would love to spend a lot of time in Chicago. It's always been one of my favorite cities to visit. Um, so, yeah, we love big cities, and we love being in downtown, small, historic areas, and we love being out in the boonies, and it's all about variety. That's You, know, you see these memes online, would you rather be camping on the beach or in the mountains? It's like, why choose? <laughs> I, 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 want, I want some time in the middle of the heart of a city. I want some time out here. I want some time out here. And that's why we love the flexibility that we've built with our lifestyles. We could take this, you know, we're, we're now in the White Mountains of New Hampshire as we film this. But yeah, just a few weeks ago, we were in New in, York City, and <laughs> basically in New York, you know, we had the Statue of Liberty 
We could see it from the front seat of our van. How cool is that? <laughs> Pretty darn cool. <laughs> We create these videos just for fun, and we love having you along for the ride. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, or if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. See you next time!